Hey, what's up? So Tayo here. Today I'm going to be showing you Stock 4.2.2 uh, Android Google Edition uh, ROM for the HTC One M7. This will apply to the Sprint, uh, AT&T, and T-Mobile models, um, and also the international model as well. Uh, there may be a slight difference with the international model, but probably shouldn't be any different than any other ROM. Uh, this should be compatible with all uh, four models. Anyway, I'm just going to give you a basic rundown of what you get with the ROM and uh, also how to apply it to your device without any issues. So uh, first off, this is my T-Mobile HTC One. And uh, right off the bat, uh, you get the stock Google you know, unlock thingy. Um, also, you get the uh, little transparent uh, notification center, which I actually was trying to install with Synergen Mod, but it kept crashing the UI and I uh, couldn't install it. So that's kind of a plus there. You do also get the uh, little HTC menu key, which is located directly above the HTC logo, which is kind of oddly placed because it's kind of hard to press sometimes. But it is a very nice touch. I really do like it. Um, also, three issues were covered uh, with this build rather than the uh, Synergen mod. Now, the only reason I wanted the Synergen mod is because it offered most of what this ROM offers, except this one just offers a lot more. One of those things is Beats Audio. The biggest downside for me on uh, Synergy Mod 10.1 was no Beats Audio. In this one, you get Beats Audio, and it sounds awesome. Also, another uh, little bit of a niche for me, but not too big a video, was I did not get all of the uh, camera features of the uh, you know, vanilla Android build with Synergy Mod 10.1. Now, um, I don't really care for like Zoe or any of the other stupid HTC Sense features that come with uh, this phone stock. Um, but if I'm going to flash a ROM and get different camera options and I don't have all of them, kind of annoying. Kind of a little, uh, you know, big old fuck you to everybody that puts this on. So, um, and the one thing that San Germain misses is uh, the little globe feature, which, uh, you know, you just do this, this, that, that, and it gets everything around you. You can get a full globe picture, I guess, or a sphere picture, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is pretty buggy. Pictures come out pretty shitty, but at least the options there with this build. Um, I don't really use it too much, except for, you know, sometimes just to you know, have a little bit of fun. But uh, it's a, it is a plus that it's there. Also, uh, you get a little bit different options if you uh, hold, and then, you know, it just comes up just like that. If you could see that your options come up like that instead of in a complete circle. Another thing uh, that was kind of annoying was um, if I'm playing a song or something like that, just like so, and I get this little widget right here of the, you know, that music is playing, I can scroll through songs and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes I lock my device, but when I change a song or something like that, I turn my device on. On the lock screen, it would be glitching the fuck out, taking up the entire screen. And uh, it's not really anything that affects anything. It's just a UI bug, and it's just solved or uh, fixed just by unlocking the phone. Uh, but it didn't really bug me too much. It was just kind of annoying it was there. And it's not as... Uh, I haven't seen it on this build, so it's kind of a plus. Um, also, what else do you get with this? I already covered that. And also, in uh, your notification center, instead of just the settings icon, just like Revolution HD, or uh, I think you get this with Synergy Mod 2, uh, you tap right there, you get all these little functions, like your, uh, your Wi-Fi, uh, network, your battery percentage, hey, battery percentage, uh, Bluetooth, airplane mode, brightness, settings, and my name. No picture there. But, uh, yeah, um... Also, one issue I did find, uh, I tried to put the uh, the battery percentage tweak on here that just shows your battery percentage, gives you the option in settings to toggle that. Works with Revolution HD, but it does not with this. If I apply it to uh, with this ROM when I'm flashing it, it will constantly crash the UI and it will not do anything. Same thing with a theme from a winter board that I was trying to apply. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what not to install. Uh, iOS 7 Hybrid Theme HD looks very sick, very clean, and I actually purchased this for about a dollar. When I applied it with the uh, recommended 
uh, launcher, which was Apex. Um, it requires you to do a launcher with it. Uh, it constantly crashes the UI the same way the battery percentage tweak does. And uh, what I had to do was factory reset the uh, phone in order to actually use it again. So without any more bullshit, and uh, just kind of a basic rundown um, of this build, let's go ahead and show you how to get it on your device. And I'm going to be using my MacBook Pro. Now, you will need to have your uh, HTC One uh, rooted and uh, with the unlock bootloader. You do not need to have S off with this. My S is still on. It's kind of funny to say, actually. But, <laughs> but yeah, my S is still on. Uh, you don't need S off for this. Uh, I haven't had any issues reflashing ROMs constantly over and over again. And, um, yeah. So, what I found that works uh, the best with HTC devices on Mac is Android File Transfer. Now I have nothing uh, connected right now, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, connect this, and it will pop up just like that. Uh, let's see, the type of recovery I have is called TWRP, and uh, you can use uh, Clockwork Mod, but I kind of like TWRP a little bit better, because I'm more used to it. And uh, the website you're going to want to download this from, which will be in the description below. Uh, it's just right here. Gives you a basic rundown of what you get with this. And uh, the uh, link you want to download this from is highlighted right here. Right here. There you go. It'll be under torrent attached whatever. You're going to want to download this in, uh, through uTorrent, I guess. That's the uh, only option that it gave me. Because otherwise it said nothing installed until I installed uTorrent. And uh, after it's downloaded, you can uh, go ahead and make a folder that you can remember where it'll be. So in this case, I did uh, ROMs and shit. And that I just threw it in there. Revolution HD is there too, and a battery percentage. The only reason I kept it there is because it works with Revolution HD. So two ROMs in there, and uh, pretty much just drag it over, drop it wherever you want. I usually put my shit in TWRP. Then I also have my uh, my stock RUE ROM and my gaps, which you do not need gaps because it's already in this uh, this ROM. So go ahead and click in there. It'll be in there, and now we can go ahead and put it into recovery. Now this one does not give you a reboot option unless it's in settings somewhere. I just can't find it. So just go ahead and power off your device. Okay, now holding the volume down button, you're going to want to go ahead and hold your power button. Holy shit. Oh, it's not off yet. <laughs> okay, uh, if you have any trouble turning your device off, just go ahead and hold the volume down and power button until it stops flashing down there, which should be about 9 or 10 seconds. There we go. Now, I just want to go ahead and show you. Let's see. Unlocked bootloader, tampered, which means it's rooted, and my S is still on. I just want to kind of point that out real quick. Scroll down with your volume down button, and go ahead and enter recovery. You'll be greeted with entering recovery screen, and then you should get a screen like this. If you have TWRP, Clockwork Mod is a little bit different. Now, when you flash ROM on an Android phone in any type of uh, custom recovery, go to Wipe. And if you're flashing a ROM, go to Advanced Wipe. Select System Data Cache Dalvik Cache. If you're uh, you know, just reflashing the exact same ROM, if you uh, have any issues with Winterboard, just go ahead and do Swipe to Factory Reset. Never touch this button for any fucking reason. If you do, you are a fucktard. You are fucking retarded. Because uh, if you're like me, and uh, what does this button do? Yeah, don't do it. Because that will wipe everything on your device. And you will get the issue with uh, no OS installed. And Oh my god, did I have one hell of a fucking time trying to find that RUU for the T-Mobile version of this phone. So if you have the T-Mobile version, you definitely want to stay away from that button. Don't touch that button. 
Do not touch the button. Again, I'll say it again. Do not touch the fucking button. Now, after you do that, go to Install, and go down to your uh, TWRP folder, or wherever you put it. Um, let's see, there's my stock RUU, and uh, Gaps, and then go skip past that, go to ROMs and Shit, which is what I named it. And we're going to go ahead and do the Bixi uh, M7 uh, zip. Select that. Um, if you want to add something else to it, which I'm not sure what else works with this uh, ROM, go ahead and do a add more zips. That way you can select whatever you want to select. And then you can swipe to confirm flash. I don't need to do this because it's already on here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. And reboot. And system. After it's done flashing the ROM, it'll ask you what you want to do. Just, you know, reboot system. So after you're done with that, you'll be greeted with the HTC Quietly Brilliant logo and the uh, you know, little development purposes only logo. Then you get the uh, stock Google logo, some little boot animation. And we're going, and we're going, and we are not gone yet. Still waiting. It's going. It went. Okay, cool. And uh, you'll just be greeted with the regular stock, you know, setup shit. Uh, sign in with your Google account. If you have your shit backed up to Google, just go ahead and say restore all my shit from Google. And it'll put all your, probably your pictures. I think it has pictures on here still. Yeah, it should be able to put all your pictures on there. Um, I didn't really have too many on here, so I didn't really care either way. Uh, your music will always be just fine no matter what you do. Um, unless you format data like a fucking retard. Uh, then you lose all your music. But then again, yeah, it should be on your computer if you're not stupid. But, uh, yeah. Um, you know, you get all the same features you would on, like, a Nexus 4 or something like that. Uh, that's pretty much what this is going off of. Because it's, you know, stock Android. To get your, uh, development, developer options, go to About Phone. Tap on your build number constantly says, no need, you're already a developer, which most of you aren't, but, yeah, kind of want that. Uh, do USB debugging, allow mock locations, and stay awake. That way you can connect to whatever computer without issue. And, uh, yeah, that's how you get stock 4.2.2 uh, Google Edition on your HTC One M7. Again, this should work on any Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, or International HTC One M7. If you have any questions or anything like that, uh, just comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 6 and uh, you know, I'll help you out however I can. Again, the uh, links are in the description below. If you need anything else at all, just let me know, and I'll help you out any way I can. So, again, without any other bullshit to go through, currently subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 6 and see ya.